All right, we're going to try to pair the the new stages crank arm power meter, Cannondale specific. I made a video about putting it on on my page if you want to check that out. Super simple. And so we're going to try and pair this up with the with the power meter. So from what I understand, we hit this power button. Boom. And then sensors right there. Hit these two buttons on the side will kind of go up or down. So we'll go down to add sensors. Hit in the middle here, hit add. Hold next to sensor. So I'm going to hold that next to sensor. And it's going to sync up. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to hit save. Add cadence and power data fields to pages? Yes, of course. Boom, so it's on there. So now, next thing we got to do is I'll probably go into the app on the phone and you can rearrange all that stuff. All right, now that we've now that we've synced up the crank arm with the Wahoo Bolt, the the cycling computer, um next thing to do would be to calibrate it. So, and they, they say in their book it's like to zero reset or calibrate. Um so like let's say you take this off it's now like it's not calibrated anymore apparently they want you to like reset it each time so that's pretty easy you just go hit that button again go down to sensors um, stay, and then there's gonna calibrate button there and the thing about it is it, I, I got a little bit frustrated the first few times I did it because um, this right here it has to be in a vertical position I think it either up or down but down seemed to work for me um, so I didn't really do it right the first couple times and went outside and rode it around and wasn't getting a reading so definitely gotta be in that vertical position and then and then we'll just hit the calibrate button this should work now this is calibrating calibrated 887 okay cool so back and then just hit that the power button on the side here to get back to your main screen as you can see I went into the app on the phone um, and you can you know mess around with it and get everything I what I did was I put watts and then cadence then miles per hour average watts ride ride time total it's nice to have the clock on there when you're not out you know out on long rides but this is just what I'm doing so there's like you know double the amount of options in fact I might even put grade on there and feet um, so we'll see but you can you can go into the app and completely customize all that stuff and just mess around with it it's not too hard there's like, um, you know, you can you can kind of drag in the app. You can kind of drag, drag the, uh, you know, one thing up or below, you know, and put it in any order you want. So, yeah, and then, and then go outside and ride it around a little bit because that was another thing I did. I just tried to kind of spin it in here and say, oh, oh, it should be spinning, but. It took a second, so I went outside and rode it, rode it around the building, and then about halfway around the building, it, it was working for me. So um, that calibration thing, I think er, you're, everything you do has to be by the procedure that it is in the manual that comes with the Wahoo or the the stages. So just mess around with that, and you should be good. If you ever have any, any issues, like hit a comment, you know, comment in my video below, and see if I can help.